Hello guys, welcome to my channel DY Agri Corner. Today, we'll discuss regarding latest pattern of MCQ based on agroclimatic zone in India. If you have not subscribed our channel, please do subscribe. In this channel, we'll discuss regarding exams like NABAD Grade A Grade B, IBPS A4, FCI, IBPS A4 Scale 2 in RRB also. So, let us start the our MCQ session that is in question number one. The question is like that under which agroclimatic zone per hectare rice production is highest? The options are middle gangetic plain, trans gangetic plain, upper gangetic plain, lower gangetic plain. See guys, here the answer is option number two, trans gangetic plain. Before attempting this type of MCQs, please go and watch my part one and part two video, detailed video on agroclimatic zone in India. In there, you will have a clear idea regarding agroclimatic zone, what are the parameters and after that you see, watch my videos of MCQ, then you will have a clear idea how to appear the MCQ part. Okay guys, so let me explain you. The state called Punjab belongs to transgangetic plain. All we know here, the Punjab is having highest productivity of rice. So, the rice production is highest in transgangetic plain. In this way, you, you need to relate each and every terms. When a question is asked, you need to understand what is there in that and you need to relate each and every terms. Okay, guys. Next question is, which option is correct regarding western plateau and hill, hill climatic zone? The options are Maharashtra, Rajasthan belong to this group, soil type red, cotton is mostly grown in this region, contribute maximum to fruit production. Here the options are only 1 and 2 follows, only 4 follows, 1, 3, 4 follows, all of the above, none of the above. So we will see the answer. Here the answer of the solution is option number C. The explanation is agroclimatic zone here state belongs to Maharashtra and Rajasthan. The soil type is black soil. Black soil is also known as black cotton soil. It, this Maharashtra contributes maximum for the fruit production. Okay guys. Next is jute cultivation is concentrated to which agroclimatic zone? Options are Eastern Himalayan region, Lower Gangetic region, Eastern Plateau and Hills, Upper Gangetic Plain. The answer is Lower Gangetic Plain. Here the states belong are West Bengal, Eastern Bihar, Brahmaputra Valley region. Climate is moist and humid. Rice is the main crop. Along with that fiber jute crop is also mostly cultivated. So, in this region, we can have the jute cultivation is highest. Okay. So, before go, coming to this MCQ part, just go and visit my videos of part 1, part 2 of MCQ that is agroclimatic zone. Okay. In detailed video, you will have an idea. Okay, guys. Next is, which of the following is correct regarding groundnut cropping pattern? See, guys. This cropping pattern is very very important for agronomy point of view and mainly questions are also asked on this type also. Here it is the groundnut cropping pattern. The options are traditionally belong to Gujarat, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. Total groundnut pattern in India is 9. Soil type required sandy soil, none of the above, all of the above. Here the answer is option number 5 that is all of the above. Okay guys. Next is which agroclimatic zone contribute maximum to egg production in India? Options are Southern Plateau and Hills, Western Plateau and Hills, Eastern Plateau and Hills, all of the above, none of the above. Here the answer of the question is Southern Plateau and Hills. Okay, here the states are Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. Tamil Nadu contributes maximum for the egg production. Earlier it was Andhra Pradesh. Major crop in this region are tea, coffee, cardamom spices. Cropping pattern means in this agroclimatic zone, the cropping pattern they usually is to follow that is rice, poultry, fish production. 
the why they used to do poultry and fish along with in the same place because the dropping of poultry can be used as feed for the fish this type of cultivation we generally called as integrated farming system in agronomy video i will describe each and every questions related to integrated farming system so that we will not face problem in the upcoming exams okay guys the main in intention of integrated farming system is the input of one enterprise should use as the output of another enterprise okay guys Next question is which cropping pattern is most suitable for areas belonging to dry farming conditions here the options are crop fisheries poultry crop apiculture silviculture livestock crop livestock only livestock options only one follows only one and four follows only four follows only two follows next here the answer of the question is option number two that is crop apiculture silviculture livestock here as it is less than rainfall is less than 750 mm okay the cropping pattern they used to follow is drought tolerant crop as we all know where rainfall is less then we'll prefer for the drought tolerant crop okay then apiculture that is honeybee rearing along with that silviculture and livestock this is also one type of integrated farming system where it is followed mainly follows in Rajasthan Gujarat part of Maharashtra this type of things you need to learn properly understand properly so that in exams any exam if questions are asked based on this you can answer when this is less than 750 mm rainfall is low then which type of erosion usually occur wind erosion okay key note what we need to follow what rain water harvesting structure we need to follow so if the questions are like this you can answer now okay Next is highest cropping intensity is found under which agroclimatic zone? Options are upper gangetic region, lower gangetic region, trans gangetic region, middle gangetic region. Here the answer is option number three that is trans gangetic region. Why? Because Punjab is having highest cropping intensity and Punjab belongs to trans gangetic region. What are the crops they usually do? Wheat, cotton, sugarcane, rice, gram, oil seed. next is here you can see the question is like the parameters are given that is annual rainfall climate predominant soil type that is alluvial soil cropping intensity is lowest and saffron is mostly grown here the characteristics of agroclimatic zone in india is given you need to answer that which these characteristics belong to which agroclimatic zone here options are also given so in my comment section please please do comment which agroclimatic zone belongs having this type of characteristics okay guys in this way we have completed our mcq based on agroclimatic zone in india so in our next video i will cover how to appear how to prepare for agronomy section for exams see guys the agronomy section is very huge and vast so in my next video i will discuss with you how to appear for the agronomy session so please don't forget to subscribe my channel like and share if you like please do subscribe my channel to get continuous updates and videos for the upcoming exams thank you guys